Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the Warlord Crisis YT, and today is the last episode of What's New in Call of Duty Ghost. No! Today we're going to be talking about clans. Now, the clan system in Call of Duty Ghost, it's better than what we've ever seen before in any Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 3 kind of had a clan system with Call of Duty Elite and things like that, but it was, it was terrible, let's be honest. Only, like... A couple hundred thousand people used it, and in the retrospect of Call of Duty, that's nothing, so they're hoping this will replace that with huge, huge numbers and uh, and blow the old Modern Warfare 3 clan system out of the water, so we'll just have to wait and see. But Call of Duty Ghost will feature a deep level of clan support. Using their Call of Duty account, players can join, create, and manage a clan from in-game or from the new Call of Duty app. By the way, the new Call of Duty app will allow you to do things like change classes, look at map overviews, and, you know, share aftermatch results on Facebook and Twitter. But what I liked here is it's not just on the Call of Duty app. You can also do this from in-game. And that was something that the elite Modern Warfare 3 clans lacked. You could not do any of the clan things from in-game. It was all on Call of Duty Elite. So just by simply adding this in-game, it will make it so, so, so much better. Nevertheless, the Call of Duty app will also include the new Clan Wars, a clan-based game mode that ties directly to Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer. This will allow each clan member to contribute to the clan missions and complete and compete against other clans for XP bonuses and exclusive in-game content. In Clan Wars, you can also, like, compete head-to-head -head against other clans on various 6v6 game modes. While playing, you will level up while also being able to track your progress against other clans with the new clan leaderboard. I love this. This reminds me of the Halo 2 days back in the day. It doesn't say anything about divisions, which I would like to see, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. There's leaderboards. Back in the Halo 2 days, you would play against people, and, and, and you would be on these leaderboards, and you'd be like, I want to pass these people, I want to pass these people, and you would try so, 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 so hard to do so, and now that's in Call of Duty Ghost. Now you're going to have that, I want to beat this clan, and there'll be clan rivalries and things like that. This is an amazing, amazing idea, and I'm so happy to finally see it in a Call of Duty game. This could really help bring the coerciveness back to Call of Duty. You know, instead of, like, I haven't played Call of Duty with, like, friends in a really long time now. I mean, I, I just, I honestly haven't. I pretty much when I play Call of Duty anymore, it's solo. And uh, this could change that. You know, this could bring the clan coerciveness back together, where you and a bunch of friends get online to beat that, you know, move up a place in the clan leaderboards. Or move up 20 places, depending on how much you play and how good you do. Um... Something else that it kind of glazes over here is uh, there are new clan bonuses as well. So if you do well as a clan, your whole entire clan can get certain camos and certain emblems and, and, and downloadable content and things like that that other people won't have because their clan isn't doing that well or they just aren't in a clan altogether. So there are advantages to joining a clan, doing well in a clan and things like that. So I'm really excited for this new system in Call of Duty Ghost. I loved it back in Halo 2 and I'm happy to see something like it in a Call of Duty game. What are your thoughts? Do you think the new clan system will be terrible, or do you think you're going to enjoy it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Nevertheless, guys, I'm CrisisYT. I'll see you next week on Sunday for more Call of Duty Ghost stuff. I'm going to give my opinion and whether or not I think I'll like this game or whether or not I think I won't like this game. Do I think it's revolutionary? All that stuff. I'm going to talk about that next week. I'm CrisisYT, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here are some videos you guys may want to check out. On the left is how to get a dock on a PC just like you would have on a Macintosh. I myself love Mac computers and, and for a long time wondered how to get a dock just like you would have on a Mac on a PC. I finally figured it out. So I spread I spread it. Uh, I gave that knowledge to you guys. So if you want to know how to do that, go check out that video. And on the right is how not to procrastinate. I talk about how to not procrastinate in school, in work, in life in general. It's awesome. Go check out that video if you have troubles with procrastinating. The video in the middle is on the Crisis Hub, my network community style director channel. Um, I'm actually in that video. It is Minecraft, so go check it out if you like me, you like Minecraft, like all that awesome stuff. I'm Crisis YT. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.